everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jen and Christian's with me Hi. and today we are here to celebrate our good friend Full Moon 1972. If you have not uh, gone to his channel and hit that subscriber button, please go do that because he is an amazing dude. A very kind dude and a brilliant content creator. And he, and one thing I love about Moon is he gives you opinions even if they're not necessarily the most popular ones. He's, a, he's not a afraid to say some stuff that like might not everyone agree with which is cool in the horror like not like he's not like you know but like in the horror stuff he, he will tell you if he likes a movie and no one else does he's got the balls to say you know what guys i fucking like that movie and on top of that he loves his cannibal movies yes. he really does and his birthday is today and i don't know if it's today when you're watching it but it's, it's either today is his birthday or today is murder a freedom day yes Yay. and it's his birthday so definitely go and wish him a happy birthday and what better way to say happy birthday than hitting that subscriber button and he's running a contest even though it should be we giving him gifts he's giving gifts to us because he's running a contest and whoever wins this contest is going to get gifts from full moon and he has one question to this contest but it's kind of a very interesting one and moon wants you and us to say five movies that you missed the boat on uh so we're gonna and we're gonna uh, gonna give moon our answers and uh we'll we'll tell you and you're getting 10 in this video you ain't getting five because math i can do basic the barest like first grader math and since there's two of us five and five is ten ta-da right, so what you're telling me is there's two of us here five and five is ten and ten sounds better in a youtube title so it's our <laughs> Ten movies we were missed the, the boat on. Party on. That does not sound nearly as good as the '80s. Anyway. Like, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So what do you got? Okay, I'll go with the one that I actually had, didn't see. The only one I didn't see because of the channel first. Uh, that being a movie that I saw entirely because of the last drive-in and Joe Bob Briggs. Uh, that being the, in my opinion, forgotten. I had never heard of this movie until until Joe Bob spotlighted it on Last Drive-In. Uh, that being the movie Angel. Ooh, uh, Angel literally. is the story <laughs> of a a call like a college grad student by day, uh, prep student by day, and fucking stripper by night who works, who walks the streets to get m money. But there's a serial killer prowling the streets killing prostitutes, and she teams up with fucking Rory Calhoun, you know, Farmer Vincent from uh, from Motel Hell. He's the guy who walks and looks cool. Uh, who's this aging, like, who's this aging, all you former, like, golden era western star, but he's just, has to, he's just doing uh, gun tricks on, uh, on Hollywood Boulevard, which... Okay, ma yeah, crazy madman waving guns around on Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, some of this movie has not aged particularly well, <laughs> uh, but she teams up with him and a police officer also look at tracking down this killer to find the killer and get revenge because one of her friends gets uh, killed by. Yeah, uh, you can skip the sequels though. The, the Angel 2 and 3 are garbage. <laughs> uh, but the first Angel is honestly really good. Like, yeah, the premise of, you know, grad student by day, sex worker by night might sound a little corny and cheesy, but surprisingly the movie plays it pretty straight and actually makes it really work and believable. And also this movie strangely has a lot of heart. It does have a lot of heart. Like the relationship she has with like this aging like drag queen uh, who's kind of like uh, keeping an eye on her and protecting her from the streets as well as like Rory Calhoun. Like they genuinely have like kind of a really good found family element to the movie. It's really cool. I really like the movie. Very, very cool. What else you got? Oh, just go. Okay, yeah. I'll just go through all of mine then. Yeah. Okay, everything else is stuff I saw entirely because of the channel. Uh, the first one is one that I saw entirely because of you. Me? Uh, yeah. It's you. Uh, I get wow. So I've never Who hidden the, the fuck was I've never me? hidden the fact that the '90s are not exactly my favorite decade in horror. Uh, and they're honestly a big blind spot. Like I give the '90s a little too much shit. There is some really good stuff that came out in the '90s. Yeah. Uh, but I think a lot of it is stuff that's not talked about very much. Uh, and one of the movies that I was really, really surprised I'd never heard of, and then you mentioned. I think I remember. I think we were watching one of uh, Jason's videos, and he mentioned the movie, and then you were like, "Oh my god." 
God, you've never seen the movie. Yeah. Uh, that being the New Zealand classic, The Ugly. Yes. Uh, this is a really damn cool movie. This is a really cool serial killer movie. That coming from somebody who's not super into serial killer movies, uh, this is a really cool story, uh, uh, cool film about a kind of like a kind of like a sort of kind of sort of Silence of the Lambs. S, although I like it better than Silence. Uh -huh. uh, you have this investigator uh, sitting in a hearing room talking to this serial killer they've caught and just him relaying his crimes and why he did them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really damn cool movie. I really liked it. It's it, the the centerpiece of the movie is the main uh, dude's performance and he's really damn good. I've never seen him in anything else. I don't know if he ever did much else. He was a New Zealand actor so I need to actually look in and see if he did but no he's gives a really damn good, a good performance. I think it's a very much a hidden gem it is. Of, of the 90s. I, 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 you know I don't know many people who talk about it. Really really good movie. It, it is guys and also it, it was the first movie. The reason why that movie stuck out to me so much is because we do have it's the first movie I heard about that talked about dyslexia and that's something you didn't hear about. You don't even hear about it as much. You hear about it a little bit more but you didn't hear about it that much in the 90s and being someone who suffered from dyslexia I it, the movie it's, really, it really stuck, out. Even stuck out. With you, and yeah. also it has a there is a scene that has a very cool jalo. The movie's not jalo at all but there's a lighting scene in one sequence in the movie that's just so jalo and I just it's so unique and different. There's so many aspects of this film that is so unique and different and I'm really glad if you guys have not checked out The Ugly it I yeah I recommended it to Christian but it is a phenomenal movie very much recommend checking that one out I believe it might be on Tubi actually cool. uh, so and Angel is on Shudder uh, another one is Butcher Baker <laughs> Nightmare Maker aka Night Warning uh, one of my favorite 80s slasher movies uh, this is a film that uh, we, did, we highlighted I believe it was last year uh, during our Pride Horror Month which sorry we forgot to do anything this month we'll, we'll sprinkle some stuff in throughout the year uh, but yeah we spark highlighted because this is a movie like yes this is a really damn cool really good sl uh, sleazy ass slasher movie that also like is weirdly very ahead of its time and very progressive like one of this like they're not the, although the main character does have some sort of like stuff about him but like they're the main like one of the main like side supporting characters is like a gay man who's getting blackmailed uh, and by the uh, by these dirty cops beer for being gay and stuff and it's honestly like a really ahead of its time story like oh wow they're fucking like sh they're actually like doing this it's not really like played up like oh he's a deviant or he's a psychopath like a lot of other movies even movies I like like dressed to kill or something it doesn't really do that it just treats them like they're a normal human being oh my shocker. god shocker man <laughs> uh, but no it's a really damn cool slasher movie it's really sleazy it really has incest there's a lot of incestual incest! tones in the movie yay a lot of heavy incestual tones uh, I, I've said I love it I talk about every time I mention this movie, but I firmly believe that uh, Final Destination took some influences because oh, yeah. the, the, <laughs> the, the famous log truck semi scene uh, is basically one for one ripped out of this movie. I on, I don't know if they ever, they've ever said it, but you cannot change my mind that the Final Destination, I think it was Final Destination 2 that had that. Uh, you cannot change my mind that Final Destination 2 totally didn't rip this scene off wholesale. Another one that we highlighted for on the channel, that being uh, the my favorite Quite possibly my favorite Christmas movie, uh, that being Dead End. Uh, Dead End is... This is one of the, in my opinion, this is one of the best, both best Christmas movies and best black comedies ever fucking made. This film is hilarious. If you, it's a very much in the Stuart Saves His Family, we need to do something camp of if you come from the right background, specifically a fucked up, super dysfunctional family that may or may not have like <laughs> an alcoholism being a running theme throughout them. Uh, we wouldn't know anything about that. Then this movie is for you. <laughs> this is about a family who are super dysfunctional going uh, going to visit uh, their aunt on the ho on the holidays and their car breaks down they get stuck on this stretch of road that seemingly keeps looping they can't escape it and it's really fucking good uh it's really fucking funny i love dead end i did too i never i never heard about i i knew i knew the poster of the movie more than i knew the movie itself i didn't even know it was a christmas movie until we were doing research i think we highlighted it for one of our 12 days of christmas one year we did and um, when shay when shay's in it, and i believe ray finds i believe ray finds i believe so the, plays the father so yeah really fucking great, great cast. cast really just overall really fucking great movie really love the hell out of it and a very clever twist very clever twist. really like the ending of it uh and my final one is a movie that uh going back to the way like first year of the channel days uh that being the movie found which oh is a movie God. we did or as you did a solo review on we found it through uh the horror of the horror she's 
spotlighted it back in the uh, back in the olden days. She and, said this is perfect for you guys. Yeah, she did. Uh, which she was right because uh, yeah, this movie. I, we've talked about this film many many a time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is genuinely one of my favorite films of all time. <laughs> I think it is a really masterpiece is. of indie cinema. Very low budget, very underground filmmaking. But uh, no, I, uh, this film is again really. Really, something special that has a lot to say. Uh, the performances are all really fucking good. It's a really, it's a dark fucking movie, but it's like it just everything about the movie works so is super fucking well, and it just raises the interesting question: What would happen if you found out that your brother might be a serial killer? Mm -hmm. and, you know, there's a lot of other stuff underlying in the movie, mm -hmm. but like that's the main question. At least that's not that's the first question the movie asks, and it's just a really interesting movie that I really fucking love the hell out of. High is top high recommendations. One of my favorite films of all time. What are your five movies that you were late to the party on? Okay, uh, like Christian said, you know, there's there's always blind spots, and I'm gonna start out with a movie that was probably like a movie that everybody like. I, okay, so story time, guys. This movie. I kept seeing on list after list after list of oh my god Becky this is so fucking good I heard so many people sucking um, this movie's dick and it was a movie we'll get to it we'll get to it and part of it I'm not gonna lie because when you hear that especially like with me and Christian sometimes me and Christian I don't consider ourselves malcontents exactly but sometimes movies that everybody loves me and Christian are kind of sitting there going Really, guys? Cough, cough, quiet place. You know. <laughs> oh, quiet place. You know, so we kind of take that with a grain of salt. And, you know, when you're doing this and watch as much horror, like you all do, but there are sometimes there are movies where, like, we believe you guys, but we're like, we might not love it as much as you do. But this, if there was ever a movie that fucking deserved every piece of hype that it got, in fact, as hyped up as this movie is, I feel it is not hyped up enough. Oh, my God, we were so late to the party. I saw the fucking devil. This movie fucking blew me away. Everything works so well. And this is a movie they threw every fucking thing it but is the a, kitchen sink. It is an everything but a kitchen sink movie. Yeah. Do you want really cool fucking martial arts <laughs> hand, or hand to hand, to hand um, fight sequences? <laughs> you got it. Do you want knife fights? You got it. Do you want black comedy? You got it. Do you want serial killer on serial killer action? You got it. Do you want just anything? You Like this movie is a everything but the kitchen sink. Gore, gore effects. Gore effects out the ass. It's just fucking amazing. One of the best, possibly my favorite movie out of all of South Korea, which that's saying something considering how much I love South Korean cinema. Yeah, but if you, for whatever reason, I feel like me and Christian are the last people that there's get on There's a reason why there's a poster of it on the wall. Yeah, it, it is. And if you've seen the movie, then I'm just going to leave you with this line. Like, there's a lot of sick there's, people in this man, world. There's, there's a lot of sick <laughs> fucking people in this world, man. <laughs> Um, that is my biggest what the fuck why didn't we see it sooner movie another movie on my list that is one of my personal favorites in fact Christian always knows when I'm kind of going through shit because is and this is gonna sound weird to you people but but Christian can testify to this this is weirdly my comfort movie yep. when I'm down this is a movie I kind of turn to and it's like a little security blanket and you know if you know me you're gonna go yeah that's Jen um but the fucking Poughkeepsie tapes I don't get unnerved or scared very often and I that did. That movie creeped you out. That movie because I watched it super late one night Christian was gone and I didn't really realize how much it impacted me but after the movie was over I went to the kitchen to get something to drink and like the thought occurred to me did I lock the front door because there's a scene in the movie and it's not even a graphic scene it's not like a totally uh, graphic scene it's just where the killer is watching his victims for a couple hours before he does anything and if you really think about it and you're alone and I realize that I'm having these thoughts right after this movie I'm like this movie kind of creeped me out a little bit and yeah. for someone like me I'm not trying to like I have the hardest horror dick nothing scares me but it takes a lot and this movie did unnerve me and why is it my comfort movie I have no fucking idea but when I'm really down and depressed this is a movie I'll turn on and it's very weirdly comforting to me you know the movie about a serial killer that shows a scene where a little girl gets hit in the rock and she's raped and murdered yeah, As you do. that's my comfort zone. That's I don't know why, but it's my comfort zone. And if you ask Jen, have you ever seen a masterpiece, Jen? 
Mm -hmm. And this is a movie, and it is called Red to Kill. It came out in 1992, I believe. It's from Taiwan, I believe. And oh my god, guys, this is a rape revenge film, but it is so much more. This movie is like, of all the movies we've, and it wasn't even for the channel. I just was doing it, looking for a list, and I, I Christian again was gone, and I, 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 I think Christian got so sick, because on the phone, I'm like, dude, come home. We have to watch this movie. The first thing you have to do when you get home is watch this movie, and I think you were thinking I was really blowing it I up. did, yeah, I did. It's a very good, I, I, as I've said many times, I describe this film as the best movie I'm never going to watch again. Phenomenal movie. Totally oh. agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Even I'm like, nah, man, that movie is too fucking hard to <laughs> watch in a lot of ways for, for a lot of stuff. So yeah, no, but it's a, it's a great movie. Uh, and you guys know I love my rape revenge films, and this is possibly, I love it even more, and, I lo and nothing against I Spit on Your Grave. Possibly the best one ever made. This is, for me, personally, one of the best, and I I had never, like, after I heard about it, I found, I think Spooky Rice I saw did a video on it, but other than that, I haven't heard too many people talk about this film, and maybe I can understand why, because it, it goes places, and it is dark, and it is brutal, and it is dealing with some heavy-duty subject matters, and it does some brilliant things with your characters. I mean, you think that, when I say rape revenge, you think, oh, this is a standard fare. This movie is anything but standard. The last two movies, um, one we did for, again, it's, it's very fitting that this uh, video is for Full Moon because it's kind of Full Moon that made me discover this movie because he's doing the thing of your favorite, uh, the top favorite movies of the 80s and uh, to do research we were watching movies and for this particular year there was a movie on a list that I'd never heard of called Julia, Julia Darling. Darling and it's about, it has incest. Have you ever hated your mom because she takes your attention away from your daddy and then the bitch gets rid of your snake and then the bitch almost gets attempted rape by a hot delivery boy Pepsi delivery boy <laughs> yeah and it, and that's what and then after that it gets super crazy oh my and god and then the movie gets weird yeah. and, and then the movie gets weird oh my god i'd never heard of this movie and i i ha this was one of the most fun movies i've ever had in my life the bitch gets rid of the little girl's snake and the little girl does kind of want to bang daddy and she and her mom's an insufferable cunt if i'm gonna be perfectly honest wants to send her to boarding school and she's gonna get raped and she's like yelling for julia help me and she gets her gun right and then she's gonna shoot the dude and then she's like wait a minute this fucking bitch got rid of my snake and sent me to boarding school fuck it let him rape her let her kill her and then i'll set it up and it like i said it gets weird after that she has a weird relationship with the rapist and she's a smart the little girl's really smart like i, I was impressed i still haven't seen it but the only movie i kind of like sort of get a little bit of a vibe from, you know, from what how you describe it is like little girl down the lane or oh something. It, it's oh weird. like i don't like i expect this a lot but that's kind of the only film i can kind of sort of get a feeling for it I get that, but th this is one like uh, the like don't be fooled, and I believe this is also on Tubi. Oh my, it, it it's bonkers, it's balls to the walls. It is not, it is not a red to kill. Is like this deep, impactful, insightful movie. It's no, just fun. this is just batshit just... crazy. And my last one, it's a controversial pick, but listen to me, people, when I say this. Um, I was late to party on Tales of Halloween, and uh... and I know people always say when they say some of their uh, uh, favorite anthology films it's usually either creep show or trick or treat and those are fucking phenomenal anthology films and people always give me the side eye because Jim goes yeah those are really great film guys but I fucking if I'm gonna be honest my favorite anthology film of all time is tales of fucking Halloween oh my god this is a movie that doesn't get talked about enough when we're talking about anthologies and I don't understand why admittedly there are a couple of segments that are not as good a quality but the ones that are good are are so fucking good. Like, and, and, and Lucky McKee and Pollyanna McIntosh do a segment in one of them, and oh my god, I fucking love that segment so much! There's one <laughs> that my personal favorite is the one where Barry Boswick from Rocky Horror uh, plays the devil, and it's basically like a mini remake of Satan's Little Helper, although as much as I love Satan's Little Helper, it's just Satan's Little Helper, but even better, because it's Barry Boswick just having a blast. That's a really fun one. It is. Uh, there's the pumpkin one that Joe Dante directed. <laughs> Have you seen this pumpkin? It gets me every time. Yeah, no, this... no, all, per, most of the, I would only say there's like two segments that I don't at least enjoy. I, 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 I at least don't think are very good. There are a 
little weak, um, but most of but the segments and there's and, and the first segment, even though it's very cliche, it's about a little boy and being scared by his older sister and her boyfriend and about candy. And it's it, it just that segment really gets you in the Halloween spirit. And then there's another one with the old guard and new guard battling out for Oh Halloween. yeah, the fucking Halloween wars one kinda, yeah. That is fucking awesome. And that is a that is one movie I do like to watch every October because totally. it just gets and I know most people will go, you're not a real horror fan if you don't say creep show or, or trick or treat. I fucking love those anthologies too. No shade, but why don't more people love fucking Tales of Halloween? They're so good. And the Polly Adam Macintosh Lucky McEwen. Oh my god. I fucking good. love that. It's, very, it's a very good movie. It's a very good it's, one. It's a very good movie. And I'd heard about it for a while, but it was one that I had never and then when I watched it, I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking good. It's just it just it was a it was an instant personal classic for me and it was one I'm like, oh my god, I should have seen this years so, ago. Yeah. So those are our movies. And um, thank you, Moon, for having this. This was actually a really fun question. Yeah, this was a fun question that made you think and kind of reflect on some of the <laughs> movies you don't talk, we don't you don't think about as much. It is true, and it's re what's really interesting is I've seen a few other people's videos. It's so cool to hear. Drastically different between everybody. It's you, super fun to hear. Everybody. Everybody's giving such different answers, and you, and hopefully what the, our video and everyone else maybe you maybe there's a few movies that we've mentioned that you've never seen that you might want to pick up yeah, or check really out. So out very cool. Go wish Moon a happy birthday, and better yet, if you really want to wish him a happy birthday, hit that subscriber button because he wants to build his channel, and you guys are missing out because Moon is a very cool dude, a very kind dude, and he he should be way bigger. He's just one of those channels that should be way bigger. So definitely go show him some love. And if you do happen to, speaking of love, if you do happen to love the content, or at least halfway, you know, can stand us. Hit, right. hit the subscribe button on ours. We would be very much obliged if you done did that because we really do appreciate it. And as always, booze and ghouls, we wish you a good day, a good evening. Keep talking horror, and please join if you've got if you're a content creator. Do Moon's tag because this is a really cool one. He has a cool contest going. Go show Moon some love. Go show Moon some love. So with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye, guys. Cheers.